One of the staples in many homes is the potato, and today we're going to incorporate that into a recipe called roasted potatoes, peppers, and onions. Now, I've started with a good potato that is good for a lot of different kinds of things. This one's a Yukon Golden. It's sort of an all-purpose potato. A really excellent choice for this one will be a new potatoes out of your garden. I cut them in about one-fourth inch slices, and you could work with a new potato. If it was tender enough, you could actually leave it whole. I've covered a large rimmed baking sheet with aluminum foil to uh, make it a little bit easier to clean up. And I'm also going to spray this with a nonstick vegetable spray. So this is not so much to help with the cleanup, but halfway through the cooking process, the roasting process, we're going to flip them over. And if you haven't sprayed it, the very strong possibility is, or probability is, they're going to stick, even though we're going to put a little bit of oil on our potatoes. So I have about a pound of potatoes, which is two, two and a half, um, regular size uh, Yukon Golds or yellow potatoes. You could also use white potatoes for this. I've got a medium onion that I've cut into about half inch slices and a red bell pepper and a green bell pepper also cut in about half inch slices. And to that I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. You could use a regular olive oil if you wanted to add a lot more flavor to this. The extra virgin tends to uh, be a little bit more mild. Just going to flip these around just enough to get them a little bit coated. And then we're going to spread them out on the baking sheet so that they are not overlapping any more than they have to. This baking sheet's about the largest one I have, and you may find that you have limitations based on the size of your oven as to how big you can actually get one. Um, so that may mean that you have a little bit of overlap when you actually put it on the cookie sheet. Now have your oven preheated to 450 degrees. And these are going to tend to stick together just a little bit, so I'm going to actually pull them apart here. And when, when you get them all separated and spread out a bit, then we're going to put them in at 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to take them out and uh, add some more flavorings to them so they have even more taste. Okay, after 15 minutes, you're going to take everything out. It's going to be nice and hot and sizzly, so be a little bit careful with it. And what we're going to do to it now is add a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Now, if you don't have balsamic vinegar, you can use another flavor, but balsamic really makes this one kind of special. And then to tweak it a little bit more, I've got two cloves of garlic that I've minced. We're just going to spread these around, and since it all went in one place, we had to stir it anyway, so I'm not going to be too concerned at this point. But remember, one of the reasons that we wanted to make sure that you sprayed it was because we're going to flip it around and stir it around. And if you haven't sprayed it with some nonstick spray, chances are it, you're going to lose the potato to the uh, tray here. Also, make sure the potatoes are cut so they're about one-fourth of an inch thick. If you try to use a mandolin to speed up the process and cut them too thin, again, you may end up with some problems of uh, getting them uh, so that they won't come apart for you and they will stick to the, to the tray when you're trying to flip them over. So there we go. This is going to go back in the oven at 450 degrees again for another 15 minutes. After that second 15 minutes in the oven, it's basically ready to eat. Now, if you want to keep the sodium content a little bit lower, you can go ahead and not put any additional salt on it. I have, or the recipe has uh, a, another uh, ingredient in that we're going to add a little bit of salt to it. We're going to put about a half a teaspoon of kosher salt over the top. Now, you can see this is nice and crispy. If you don't like it charred like this, uh, then keep an eye on it so that it doesn't get quite to that stage. I'm one of those people that kind of likes that. You know, I like the marshmallows burnt when you're at the, the campfire and uh, the meat chard when I'm at the grill. So uh, this is, is perfect for me. But if you like it a little bit less, just keep an eye on it and uh, have it in the oven a little bit less time. You're going to find that the potatoes are nice and tender and that the garlic has had time to mellow out since uh, it has been uh, in the oven for about 15 minutes and you had it minced up. If you wanted to, you could actually put some whole cloves of garlic in at the beginning and do it that way. As I said, a little bit of kosher salt over the top, and you have something that's going to be really, really flavorful, particularly if you can use some of those new potatoes out of your garden. This was Roasted Potatoes, Peppers, and Onions for Oklahoma Gardening. This is Barbara Brown.